Hi, my name is Dr. Robin Abramzik and I'm a general dentist in Heath, Texas. I practice with a holistic approach. The name of my practice is Smile Ranch Dentistry and I am here with Dr. Rebecca Gracia. She is my coworker and colleague. Absolutely, so my background is in pharmacology. I'm a PharmD, board certified in toxicology, so interested in all things on the toxicology side. And I am trained in natural medicine and now specialized in the dentistry aspect as well, helping people look at their whole health perspective from a whole body approach. Thank you. And I wanted Dr. Gracia to share with you today a little bit about some of our patients who come to see us at Smile Ranch Dentistry. Many patients come requesting amalgam or uh, mercury filling removal, and not all patients are ready whenever they walk through the door. Dr. Gracia, can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, it is. Uh, important consideration in health to look at the metal in our body and the metal amalgams are a significant health issue. They do cause a lot of imbalance and many people are learning that that is something that they want to remove. They ask questions about how to go about to do that safely. The other important question is, is your body ready to remove these uh, metal amalgams? There are key steps that need to be evaluated and addressed to make sure that you have a safe and effective uh, metal amalgam removal. Uh, we like to do several different assessments here that are holistic, natural, non-invasive to be able to get a good assessment of your body's health. We do the oligo scan, which is a spectrometer reading of your body's minerals and heavy metals. It not just looks at mercury, but also 12 other heavy metals, including aluminum, including lead, a long list, and it gives me information of your body's mineral balance. All of these work together. The other test that I rely on is the thermal bioscan that really shows me the internal organs and the functioning of all those systems. The lymphatic system is one of the most important systems that we need to evaluate because that is how your body removes toxins. If your lymphatic system is blocked, then you will most likely absorb and recirculate these metals. Absolutely, absolutely. And what about once that patient is ready, once they're done having all of their mercury amalgams removed, mm -hmm. do you continue support? Absolutely. Uh, we're able to work with patients and their practitioners to help their body finish mm -hmm. out that process for removing the metals. Because mm -hmm. it's not just in the amalgams, but it's circulated throughout the body, deposited into deep tissues. Mm -hmm. So many times it's a long-term process. So I do recommend that you do regular follow-ups, have a good action plan that includes the whole body mm -hmm. uh, in order to help your body come back into balance. Absolutely. And I love getting that baseline before we start the mm -hmm. removal process mm -hmm. and then at the end do another assessment. That way we can quantify how mercury is mobilized and moved throughout the body. Absolutely. And I've seen beautiful before and after scans here at Smile Ranch mm -hmm. showing that we identified where the toxicity was, understood how the body needed to clear that out, mm -hmm. and saw that it successfully was eliminated. So those are wonderful success stories. Wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us today, and thank you for sharing. Thank you.